Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm bringing you another edition of Tough Fighters. And we're going to be using Diego Brandao in the featherweight division. Right there you see his perks, opportunist level 2, heavy hands level 1, and game changer level 1. Not really good perks. Uh, he only has 3 of them. His stats are okay. But he was on one of my favorite seasons of Tough. That also had a lot of, like a lot of talent came out of that show. It was the first time they were doing bantamweight and featherweight, I believe. Like T.J. Dillashaw was on that show. Dennis Bermudez, Brian Caraway. Um, yeah, there's a few others too. I just can't think of them right off the top of my head, but. Diego Brandao actually won the show, but he's a perfect example of one of the guys who won the show. Kind of went on a good run there, but, you know, he lost a few, and now he's not in the UFC. So that just says if you win the show, you're not guaranteed to stay in the UFC, you know, throughout your fighting career. I'm going to kind of have to be a little patient, but I'm going to try to stay true to the fighting style of Diego Brandao. As in, you know, this guy just comes out swinging. I think in his first fight on the show, he came out with like a flying knee and just, you know. Pretty sure he landed it and boom, he's rocked right there. Alright, he got me down. That's not what I wanted. Gotta be careful when you're playing Chad Mendes for that takedown. And I wasn't. I was kind of being reckless there once I rocked him. Doing a little head hunting. So, it's kind of my own fault. But yeah, the, actually the first time... Oh, alright, hold on a second. Man, he almost finished me there. I was going to say, uh, he pushed me up against the fence. Alright, that's okay. I do that sometimes too. The tie clinch against the fence. It's, it's all good. But, the first time I saw Conor McGregor, he fought Diego Brandao. I'm pretty sure it was Conor McGregor's like third fight in the UFC. And I thought Diego Brandao was going to do a little bit better in that fight. Because I didn't really know much about Conor McGregor. You know, I'll, I'll be honest, I didn't know Conor McGregor up until that fight. But Conor McGregor right there was like, wow, who is this guy? And alright, I'm tagging this Chad Mendes player up. I gotta be careful. I can tell this guy's. I can tell this guy's good. Oh, he's parrying high and low. He's throwing some good combinations. He is letting his stamina drop. He's cutting off the cage pretty well. Oh, hurt me again. Alright, I gotta be careful with this guy, man. This guy's good. Lately, I've been playing some Division 7 and 8 players. I've been losing a lot to them. So... I might lose this fight because I'm I'm the kind of guy who can get to that title fight, but I usually can't win it. 
Or I'll win it and then I can't defend it. I'm like the gatekeeper, I guess. Or one of the gatekeepers. You know. That's just how that's just how I am. I'm trying to get better. Trying to be a little bit more patient. In some fights, I can be patient, but this seems like a fast paced fight right here. Oh, got him. Let's see what I can do. Man, gotta try to capitalize, but I don't want to get taken down either. Do not want to get taken down again. Cause he almost finished me like three times in that fight, and the first time was on the ground. So that was a good combo. All right, he's blocking his body pretty well. Oh, he clipped me. I feel like I'm going high and low pretty well, but he seems like he's just blocking. He's blocking the Imperium pretty good. Very interesting. He broke away. Huh. Oh, alright. I already did it. Didn't really want to do that. Alright, he's moving his head pretty well. He just missed with the straight right. Man, some nasty body shots. Alright, seems like the pace of the fight is starting to slow down a little bit. We're both looking to see what we're each gonna do. Right there, going with left hook. As you guys know, from the ones that watch, that's one of my favorite things to do is the straight left hook. You can catch a lot of people with that. Oh. Rocked him again. Oh. Oh, that was clean. That was a clean knockout. Nice. I think he thought I was going to go body. So he let his hands down. Let's see it. Yeah, step forward. A few times when he was rocked, I stepped forward and I threw a body kick, I believe. Because I felt like I was mixing up pretty good high-low, so maybe he thought I was going to go to the body, so he wanted to block it. Just that one opening and... Done. Brandao does have heavy hands. If, you know, I can just feel it. Pretty fast, too. But his stamina is not that good, especially when, like, you're someone like me who doesn't have good stamina management. I was also throwing a lot of shots, but that was a pretty intense fight. He rocked me a couple times. I rocked him a couple times. So, that was pretty good. I'm kind of interested to see... The stats and kind of see what level that guy was. So yeah, well, check it out real quick. Let's see these stats. Yeah, he threw less strikes, but I landed a little bit more than he did. Obviously, because I got the win. But round two, he threw a few strikes. I threw way more. I missed a lot though, so. I gotta work on that. I've been noticing when I look at my fight sets that I miss a lot of shots. I mean, sometimes I might land more than my opponent, but other times, you know, I just miss a lot. And there's nothing else to really say. I just miss a lot, even though I might land more. But yeah, let's see what division this guy was in, and then I'm gonna jump into another fight. Alright, he was Division 7, so that's cool. I got a win over him. Alright, guys, I'll be right back with another fight. Alright. We're fighting Jose Aldo. It's another title fight, and I am in the red corner. 
I've gotten a little bit used to fighting out of the red corner. I've been putting it a little bit more recently. It seems so. Getting a little, a little used to it. So, Let's see how this works out. Oh, all right. Try to be a little bit more patient when I'm not in the pocket. Also, I noticed that I do that step and strike, like I step in a lot. That probably has a lot to do with my uh, my stamina going down. It's just habit. I just, just something I got to get out of. Like right there, I just stepped in, tried to strike. All right, this guy is just emptying his tank on me. When he lets his stamina drop, I'm going to push forward. That's how I feel like this fight might go. Alright, he's trying to break my block, which can be a good strategy. Oh, caught me. He should be throwing to my body a little bit more. Oh! Oh wow, I'm surprised I was able to recover. Win or lose, I'm posting this fight. Oh, usually I don't, I don't catch that. I've gotten a little bit better at doing those arm catches. I was going to try to go for a submission there just because his stamina was down. He just wants to posture up. Alright, let's see. Alright. Oh, alright. I'm going to try that again if I can. Because he just wants to posture up. So. Oh, took his back. Let's try it again. I might be able to get this. Oh, I messed that up. Oh, man. How did I mess that up? Man. That's on me right there. I had him. And here's a big shot that almost ends this fight. I have a feeling he might not want to go to the ground now. It doesn't look like his submission defense is that good. My submission game is not that good, so if if I can submit you, then you know, or come close like that. Really, dude? Come on. Boom! He's hurt. You gonna try a cheap shot, dude? I'm gonna clinch you. Knee the body, knee the body. Done. Man. I think he was trying to go for the front kick to the face when he went to touch gloves there. But now he went to the body instead because he was. Didn't realize he was holding LT probably or L2. I don't why I said LT? Man, I wish I would have got that submission. That would have been so cool. It was end of the round. Man, I can't believe I messed that up. But anyway, that's Diego Brandao. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's take a look at the fight stats. I wasn't really 
landing too much in round one. We did spend a lot of time on the ground. So maybe that's why. In round two, I threw 12 strikes. Landing seven, so that's pretty good. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and if you're new around here and you want to see more of this stuff, hit that subscribe button. But, as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.